Hello guys, I hope y'all are enjoying my reactions. I but my Bluetooths are all dead. I forgot to charge them this week, so I have to put up with it for today. Hope y'all are enjoying my reactions though, and we will get started with them. And I apologize uh, for some of my reactions that were effed up this week. I figured out apparently that because I've been downloading all the my videos I'm reacting to off YouTube because it makes it easier for uh, me to uh, with the upload process and stuff. Because some of the videos don't want to go through this app unless they're in my uh, photo albums. But apparently there's some glitch with it. So it's messing up all my videos now that are done through there. So I have to go through the internet itself, download it through the app and all. So it's just kind of effed up right now. But I've talked to administrators in the app store and they said they'll uh, work on the glitch. So hopefully it'll be working soon and my videos will be back to normal. But I hope y'all are enjoying my reactions. Thank y'all. Evil Boo has awakened and it wants to fight strong guys. Hmm. I feel like that we've heard that before. Have we heard that <laughs> yep. before? Most definitely have. Hey guys, Masako X here. It's the last what if before December and therefore the Christmas season begins and we're going back to one of the more outlandish what ifs that we actually have in our catalogue. It may be described as somewhat indirect, but actually this whole scenario has given us a really good understanding about the inner workings and the emotions of the android characters within Dragon Ball. Something that is not often explored. You know, other than just having them fight or whatnot or just loving nature. There's more to them. There is a lot of emotional heft behind them. And even with the likes of 17 and 18, there's a lot of potential that you can have. There's a lot of baggage, even with the new Babby Cell trying to come to terms with them. So let's continue with the notion that a pre-cell saga Bulma took it upon herself to go to Dr. Giro's lab, take what was rightfully his, and, you know, make the most of it. I mean, <laughs> where was Dr. Giro? He wasn't going to go like, Hey, my head tells me you that you shouldn't have that. Give it back. I'm going to roll at you angrily until you stop. <laughs> he had the right to be upset. This was his magnum opus. Seven. The sole creation of all of research and development of the Android program, as well as back in the days of the Red Ribbon Army. This was meant to be the ultimate creature of destruction. Nowadays, it's the ultimate creature of hugs and goofing off like it was a little <laughs> child. I mean, that's what you get when you hang around with Goten and Trunks for most of your life. I'm talking about what if Cell turned good. Now, I must remind you all that this isn't the original Cell that we're talking about here turning good. No, that's not really going to happen. That one bit the dust when Super Saiyan 2 Gohan got really, really angry and decided to punch a big hole in the stratosphere with a Kamehameha. This is the present day Cell, was originally an embryo and then was genetically accelerated to then become the larval state and then the imperfect state. In the last part, things got a little bit hairy for our present day Cell, who has actually been christened Android 21 by the likes of Bulma. Before you say anything, Android 21 isn't known yet to our Z Fighter group, so yeah, stands to reason. There was 20, 19, 21. This was the first time that 21 could actually get stuck in with his comrades and help fight with the likes of Majin Buu rearing his ugly head. But things didn't work out too well for him because he got in the mix with the likes of Deborah the Demon Lord. And now, as we saw in the last part, He's now a part of him. This really kind of stemmed from the idea that Cell 21 actually gave in to one of his basal instincts. The idea of drinking people. Something that he tried to resist and something that Bomber tried to avert with having him be on a sensu beam diet. Yeah, he had to give in as a last resort and it's tearing him apart. Now inside of 21's body, Deborah is not- So technically it. Cell's a vampire. Going He's going to use this to his own advantage and make 21 his own vessel, trying to slowly manipulate him and tweak him to get him to do his bidding in some way. However, he does know that at the moment, 21 is quite the pure soul, having not been tainted with evil in disguise. So he's going to have to be really careful with his approach. But we've got to understand mm -hmm. what's happening with Evil Boo. After he's absorbed Margin Boo, he becomes the first form of Super Boo, who immediately heads to the lookout to try and suss out some Z fighters and confront them. Unlike in the original, Trunks and Goten have actually not been asleep and been busy at work trying to perfect the fusion dance. So they have actually been getting a little bit stronger and doing some training, but it does mean they're kind of caught for a loop. 
With the presence of the androids here, the training has been far more intense, with Piccolo acting as the wingman, so that means it's a really intensive course. But still, they have to deal with the idea that Super Boot is lusting for a strong fighter, mm. and that is really apparent with the fact that Goku, the one who actually gave him the promise of a strong fighter, isn't even here. Piccolo tries to bargain with the mutant in some way by just saying, why don't you just go down onto the earth and try and game end some people down there? It's a bitter pill to swallow, but the Namekian is seriously banking on that whole Dragon Ball strategy. I hope it works and there aren't any technicalities. This is falling into Deborah's lap. This is just proof positive that he could just slowly say to 21, is this the kind of person you want to really ally yourself with? Someone who will easily contempt and condemn the lives of millions just for the sake of an idea? 21 is aghast at the idea. Why give in this easily? 21 is having none of that, and he is rocked to the core that his master would even think of such an idea. Something so disastrous and just... Ugh. Deborah is laughing inside of his head, I mean quietly, but this is going the exact way he planned. Make his vessel turn against his former friends, go it alone, and he will be able to do whatever he wants with it. Now the Deborah-led Android 21 calls out to Super Boo that he will challenge him and give him the fight that he wants. He will buy the group some time, so that means he can get the fusion dance training down to a T. Or I guess in this case, an F. Piccolo is strongly against this idea. He doesn't think that 21 can take this Super Boo creature. He knows exactly that his pupil isn't strong enough to be able to even do anything against this creature. He'll be annihilated within seconds. But they don't know the whole thing about Deborah. They think that 21 just defeated Deborah. Not that he's inside of 21. Piccolo demands that 21 stand down and take back his offer, but it's too late. Super Boo is already hooked on this offer and is severely tempted, and he wants it now. Mm -hmm. Has graciously stepped forward to give him what he wants. He will make excellent candy. Both 21 and Boo depart the lookout with the young boys being able to get on with their fusion training, and we don't have the whole, you know, fat go tanks and thin go tanks thing. They're able to get it down in one. Piccolo, though, is seriously worried, not just for the safety of his pupil, Android 21, but for the safety of the entire world. Who knows what Boo will end up doing? He might even just blow up the planet here and now. With Super Boo following him, 21 is told by Deborah that, yes, this creature is indeed stronger than him. There is no way that he will be able to beat this pink creature, except by this way. If he just gives in a little bit of control to the Demon King, he might just have enough ability to be able to give Cell or 21 the idea and the powers that he needs to be able to defeat this guy. Our young oh, Cell doesn't turning trust this the Deborah at all. He has actually something that Deborah has no idea about. Yes, Deborah's been doing some digging, but he's not been doing enough digging. Instead of giving control, he decides to play dumb and go, Yes, Deborah, I'll give you some control. Even though 21 hasn't resorted to drinking people before, he still knows how it works. And after all of the concentration training and the energy training from Piccolo, he's able to actually give Deborah the slip. This drinking ability also comes with some perks that he hasn't also realized yet. So, instead of relinquishing outright control, he's able to tap into Deborah's essence and tap into the power that is available to him and Deborah mm. is completely helpless in this situation. 21 powers up with an electric red aura. It's an angry red aura as well, and this catches Super Boo by surprise. <laughs> red and green, what kind of fighter are you? Are you some kind of Christmas mascot? Boo is caught off guard by a massive punch which even <laughs> catches the puncher off guard. Well, how did I do that? Both 21 and Deborah are asking the same question, and I think Boo is too, although slightly pained. This power that 21 has been able to tap into via this drinking ability is incredible! He had no idea that he could do this, why didn't he find this out before? I mean, Sensu Beans were good and all, but this? This ability? It's far more efficient! Unfortunately though, that punch that he gave to Boo doesn't exactly hurt him that much, but it's enough to send him flying and make Boo question what he got himself in for. But at the same time, it is a challenge, and now he's cackling like a maniac. This, this is what I wanted. Give me more! After that, 21 <laughs> decides to really forget more of the things that Piccolo tried to train him, including dodging. He actually ends up losing one of his arms, but that's a... I like how he does the Super Boo voice, but... I um, I've been messaging him because I can do uh, the Fat Boo voice very, very good. So I'm hoping 
he'll get that for the next TFS arc coming up soon, hopefully. Because I really want to be a part of the uh, Boo Saga and TFS. That would be so cool. Okay. Boo thinks that he's got the upper hand because now Cell's only got one. But no. Remember, 21 can regenerate. Ah, uh, you and I are not so different. How are you working like this? I mean, narratively speaking, Boo doesn't know that basically he's a copy of pretty much Cell, really. Except the green spots are gone. You are kind of like Boo. Boo likes you. By this point, Boo is having a whale of a time, having immense joy in fighting this guy who could actually give him the challenge, although not actually best him outright. Mm. He's now checking how durable 21 is, essentially toying with him. He is entertained by 21, so instead of just breaking this new toy immediately, he just wants to get it out of the box and let it do its thing. You know, this is a good way of being able to gauge how strong the other meatbags are. 21 <laughs> fights valiantly, and even though he's still remarkably impressed with this new power that he's got, he still gets the feeling that he's being treated like a plaything. Deborah's getting yep. quite angry too. He's absolutely vilified by Boo's tactics, and the idea that he's nothing more than a plaything, him, the demon lord, now just a chew toy for some kind of rabid fighting dog? What does this world come to? What is even my life right now? This once great lord is now just a voice in someone's head. He's now starting to question this whole idea and whether it was actually even worth trying. Meanwhile, Gotenks and Trenks perfect their training and they successfully become Gotenks. Not only that, but we're going to get another fusion as well. Android 17 and 18, through all the training, decide to try. What would they be together? Because one's male, one's female, a hermaphrodite? What? Oh. Right themselves to see whether they can. I don't even want to think it, about that. Even though they are biomechanical. <laughs> After all of the teaching that they have been through and actually been perfecting and practicing with Piccolo, they successfully fuse and become Android 17.5. This isn't your average fusion either. This has actually opened up something quite interesting. Now you see, both 17 and 18 are powered by the infinite engine. And now that there's a dual infinite engine inside this fusion, it means that no matter how much they power up, they don't actually bring down the fusion time of 30 minutes. So therefore, they can just power up and keep going the stamina, and when they do defuse, they can refuse instantly. So this is gonna be very cool. And having figured this out after all the practice, they fuse up again and go to help Android 21. When they arrive at the scene, 17.5 is shocked at what 21 is doing. What is he up to? Why is he just taking Boo's punches? I mean, one thing is to actually try and buy the gang some time, but no, he's just giving in and just letting him be a punching bag or something. So 21, can you actually try and stop this beast? They then attack Super Boo, who actually gets some successful hits, allowing 21 to be able to get some kind of a break. The fight is long and brutal, but Boo is no longer smiling. This fight is getting much more serious. 17.5 and 21 together? This might be a bit of a struggle. In fact, he actually could be considered to be outright losing because these two don't have energy readings so mm -hmm. he can't pinpoint them. He then goes into full defensive mode and pretends to act all defeated like, Oh, I'm not as strong as you guys because he can sense someone who does have an energy reading approaching. And that is Gotenks. And we all know what Gotenks is all about. Being loud and brash, making an entrance, and this gives Boo the distraction he needs to then go in and absorb Gotenks immediately. So that means the young fusion doesn't even get to do anything. The 17 within 17.5 wants to stop this beast mid-transformation, like in the whole tournament power thing when he cuts Ribbly Oh and the yeah. Stage. But they hesitate for a moment. That's the 18 part because Go Gotenks is in there. They'll, they'll destroy Gotenks as well. That moment proves to be rather costly because this now Gotenks powered Boo is now stronger than the two of them. And really, yeah, yeah, it's actually strong enough to be able to knock the fusion out of 17.5, separating the two. They attempt to do the dance again almost at once, but they're immediately stopped by Boo, and they are now in really big risk of being absorbed themselves. But luckily, yeah. Gohan arrives. He has successfully completed his Elder Kai training and is now mm. more <laughs> mystic and more ultimate than ever before. He tells 17 and 18 to take 21 and regroup with the others. Gohan will buy them some time, and so their fight begins. The androids then make their way back to the lookout. 18 then asks, you think that Gohan can make it? And 17 is just all like, I don't know. 21 has been thinking about this whole drinking and absorbing mechanic that he saw with Boo. He realizes that he can do it too, so he decides to pipe up. Now listen, 
I know you two don't trust me this much, but you need to listen to what I have to say. We don't. You'll ruin the relationship. Don't do it. Don't. Don't say it. We cannot do this separately. We have to do it together. The twins hesitate for a moment, but they do eventually agree. Times are desperate, and they have to work together as a team. But unfortunately, 21 didn't come up with this plan on his own. This was something that Deborah was able to convince him to do. Mm. It was Deborah who did some digging into 21's programming and unearthed this whole revelation that Dr. Giro had implanted into Cell. So, yeah. I think you might be able to tell that the next part of this what if is going to be rather... Dark. Perfect, let's say. And that's where we're going to leave things for right now. Oh, so what do you guys think? Do you think this alliance is going to amount to anything? What's going to happen to no, go on in this timeline? Leave a comment below. Uh, I don't like where this is going. I'm, anyway, oh, this I hope you so enjoyed this video. Fucked. Okay. Until the next one, be sure to like and subscribe. Catch you later. Catch you later. y'all enjoyed my reaction. If you like my content, then like and subscribe, please. And follow me on Twitter for video updates. The link will be in the description below. And as always, stay nuclear.